Hello, welcome back to Magic Cat Security. So glad to have you here again. Today we're going to give you a tutorial. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for tutorials on a particular app um, called Fluxion. <clears throat> and it happens to be a favorite of mine, so today we're going to do a tutorial on that. Uh, Fluxion is fairly easy to use, it's very automated and quick. Um, that's one of the reasons I like it. You can pretty much set it and forget it. Um, I mean, you can sit here and do everything manually if you want to, but I'll tell you now, um, all the all the best pen testers and hackers, they they write scripts to do everything they need to do automated because who wants to take the time to type all that crap out over and over and over and over? You know what you're supposed to do. So you don't have anything to prove to anybody. If you want to automate it, nothing wrong with that. That's what Fluxion does. So we're going to open up our terminal to get started, and we're going to sudo up. Okay, and then we are going to go into the directory for Fluxion. Here we go. Alright, and as you see inside directory, now of course I've already installed it. Um, very easy to install. Um, I've gone over install process for several of these scripts. Honestly, if at this point, if you have trouble installing an application like this on Linux, you you shouldn't even be watching this. You need to go back and start from the beginning. Okay, you have stuff to learn before you get to this point. Don't try and jump over that. There's no shortcuts. Okay, you have to learn what you're doing. Also, once again, I do want to let you know that please do not use any of this that you are learning on my channel for illegal purposes. This is meant for legal learning and educational purposes only for aspiring pen testers and current pen testers alike. If you are a white hat hacker, and you are doing good things for people, then this is some great learning sources. If you are a black hat hacker and you think that, or you want to become one, and you think that this is going to help you, it's not. Um, if you use any of these tutorials on my channel, um, not knowing what you're doing, you will get caught. You're going to get busted, you're going to jail, okay? You'll probably never be able to touch a uh, computer again for years. Uh, not a good idea. Um, I do not teach you how to cover your tracks and all the little background stuff that you really need to know if you were doing this for illegal purposes. Not going to teach you that. Sorry, this is for good stuff. Alright, so anyway, moving right along, let's go ahead and start up Fluxion. And we're going to use tab to do the autocomplete. Hit enter and bring up our application. Brilliant. I thought so too. And now we are going to see what we can do. To get us a handshake okay now you notice that it also has an evil twin option flexion does a decent evil twin but it's not my favorite evil twin i don't use flexion for the evil twin option um, but as far as the handshake snooper fantastic for grabbing hashes so we're going to choose option two all right now just to make sure let me um we're going to click away here <clears throat> i'm open a second terminal I could split that terminal, but I'm not going to right now. This will be easy. All right, and what I'm about to do now is I'm going to check out my Wi-Fi, and let's see what my antennas are doing here. So I'm going to open up TX Power, which is a script I have available on GitHub. Feel free to go grab it; it comes in handy. Okay. Now here are my choices, and what I want to do is I want to check the transmit power. Okay, right here, option 13. So I'm going to hit 13 and see what we got. And I've already boosted these. As you can see, my two injectable antennas are already boosted up to 30 decibel. And then we have um, 22 on the internal, but we're not going to use the internal because it's not injectable. I cannot inject packets. Okay, now we'll quit our transmit power blast. And I'll go and close that one. So now we're back to Plexion. So we know our Wi-Fi card's already prepared. If they were not, um, transmit Power Blast. If, like I said, you can grab that from GitHub. It's free to download and install, open source. And that's just a handy utility to help you bump up the power and, and what have you on your antenna. Um, and also opens a few channels and things for you. Um, just quicker than doing it manually, a lot easier. 
Uh, so now we're going to choose wireless interface. It's going to be put into monitor mode, okay, to do the searching for the target. And I'm going to use now, if you didn't see there, LAN 0 and LAN 1 are the two cards that are injectable. And you can usually tell this by the name of the cards. Notice this is an RE Link and a Realtek. I have yet to see any type of internal antenna that can inject packets and especially if it's intel it's, uh, uh, it's just not not gonna happen so we're gonna go with number one the rn link okay and i'm gonna type one hit enter and it's setting it into monitor mode you see it succeeded properly now it wants to know what channels to monitor now we're we're not looking for the five gigahertz range that's going to be people's you know streaming netflix and everything else um, unless they're a complete idiot and put their stuff on 5 gigahertz. But we're going to go for the 2.4 gigahertz. So we're going to hit 1. And then Windows open up. Or at least a window. And what this is doing is it is searching. If you've used any type of application like this before, you probably recognize it. And it's grabbing all the local networks nearby us. Now, as you see right here, it shows the time lapsed. And it's going 18 seconds now. Um, even if you see the one that you think you want to grab right away, give it a minute. Give it one good minute to at least try and go through everything. It's going to be very tempting to jump ahead, but trust me, it's going to be much better if you wait. Must be strong like bull. And that's very important, but it will it will help you because you'll get a lot of things in there. And now, <clears throat> as we're approaching a minute, it's picking up all kinds of data. We're getting our BSS IDs and we're getting the ESS IDs and even the manufacturers are the best known guests of the manufacturer of the modem that they're using all the way to the right you see what channel it's on there's there's a whole plethora of information here for you okay so even if you don't have a predetermined target uh, this will help you decide which target so now that uh, I've reached a minute I've, I've gone through quite uh, a few of my local networks or nearby networks I am going to hit control C on this window right here and watch what happens it closes it and boom Flexion gives us everything that we looked at now this is a hidden network that is picking up that would be interesting uh, that's why we have our, our uh, blank under ESSID and our question marks which you can't see because I have this blocked out for privacy purposes but trust me it's blank there and now we are going to check um oh goodness let's see let's go for number two now i'm doing this on purpose the ones that are notated in green have active clients on the network right now okay and these two happen to be my network so that's why it's showing active but um if it's green, that's a good one. You got, you've got a bite on it, okay? So, but we're gonna just, we're teaching here, so we're gonna try two, we're gonna hit enter. And here it's asking you for the target tracking and a dedicated interface, okay? So at this point, we're going to choose, hmm, oh, and we have the option to skip, in fact. I'm gonna show you that. If you don't know and you're not sure which one, uh, you can hit skip and let me show you it's gonna work just as well I'll go ahead and use skip this time so you can see it's it's not gonna you know mess anything up um, I'm gonna do reset attack since um, we are instructing you here so you can see what we do all right so here it's asking me a method of handshake retrieval now I can do the monitor which is passive um, or I can actually deauthenticate it which is what we want to do and I can use AirPlay or MDK3. Now, before anybody says anything in the comments, yes, MDK3 is up to version MDK4 now. Um, they do basically the same thing. A few improvements in MDK4, mostly speed improvement. Um, however, MDK3 is gonna work just fine. It's what Flexion happened to use in this particular version. Um, just hasn't been updated to the new MDK3 yet for whatever reason. But we're going to use AirPlay. Um, now you do see that it is noted as an aggressive attack because it's going to be noisy. It's deauthenticating. Okay, so we're going to two, and we select an interface for monitoring and jamming. So we're going to go back to our R-Link, which is already in monitor mode. Select one, 
and now we need a method for verification of the hash. Um, and you see it tells you Aircrack is unreliable uh, for this particular use um, of this method and it recommends cow patty. So we're going to go with the recommendation. Okay, how often? And we're going to go with the recommendation once again every 30 seconds. Okay, and how should the verification occur? And we are going to put two for synchronously because it also is recommended. And on the little bitty laptop here, that would probably be the best thing to do. Unless I was on the big bad desktop, we could go for a asynchronously. So what's happening here now is this is the monitor is uh, monitoring that that particular network that we are attacking. Um, this is the snooper information, okay, down here. This is what tells us um, what the outcome is so far. Over here, this is your actual deauthentication taking place as we speak. And you see it resets every 30 seconds, does a quick check, and then goes back to the authentication if it hasn't caught anything. Now, once it catches something here, it's going to stop this process and tell you in this window that it has captured a handshake. Now, once you've reached that point, then let me show you what you do here. So we're going to start by closing this window and then that window and that window. And we're going to tell it exit. And this is a beautiful thing about Fluxion that I love. Uh, Fluxion, whoops, <laughs> it's going to keep working because I'm running my mouth. Um, Fluxion will do this automatically, reset everything right back the way it was. Watch closely. Boom, 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 boom. So it takes everything out of monitor mode and your Wi-Fi antennas don't get like hung up. You don't have to go back and disconnect them. It does it automatically for you. Brilliant. Yes, it's wonderful. That's one of the things I love about um, this particular program. So, you know, uh, whoever had the idea, it was a great idea, you know? So <clears throat> anyway, now that we've done that, if we're in the Flexion directory already, so let's do a list. And I'm going to show you, you see the directory there that says attacks. Okay, that is exactly what it sounds like. That's the attacks that you have performed. And once we look inside that directory, you see we have Captive Portal or Handshake Snooper. Now we were looking for handshakes. So I'm going to, and you see the little funky marks here that's making up the space. Um, that's how it has to negotiate that there's a space in there. That's one thing. I just use tab autocomplete and it does that for you. So you don't have to remember all that stuff. Okay. And then we open, look in here and you see now we have handshakes. So one more CD into handshakes directory. And here's the recent handshakes that we have tried to find. And that's your cat file, your captured handshake that you can work with to crack. Okay. Now, just in case, just in case, let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me go back here. All right. <clears throat> now, here's another thing. This is another reason why I love terminology. Some of you have seen me tell you this before. And if you haven't, you're going to see why now. So, sudo sudo over here. And whoop, if I hit the right key, that'll help. I think I put in an extra key. I did. Okay. I, my fingers hit the wrong button and that's no good yeah yeah so all right now we're in the home or my home directory um, and from there I'm gonna go to where I keep my word list I keep a directory inside my home directory called word list and this is where I keep some of the bigger word lists just uh, some of the most common ones that are have been very lucky for me and uh, uh, breaking ha uh, hash files. Um, the majority of my handshakes are on an external drive uh, so that they don't take up all my hard drive space on my system. Um, and I do recommend that. In fact, what I do recommend is if you're real big about uh, breaking your hashes and you are determined to break them, you don't wait forever. Number one, you need a good processor speed. You need a good computer. It has a decent processor, decent RAM, a nice fast computer. A gaming computer is awesome for this. Okay, what I'm about to show you now. The second part. Um, it uses a lot of processor power to do what I'm about to do. And that's, we're gonna attempt to 
break a hash file, crack a hash file. Um, and so it's a good thing to do. Um, and rainbow tables, I, I cannot stress enough how fantastic rainbow tables are. Um, if you have rainbow tables, now listen closely to what I'm about to tell you. If you have rainbow tables, there, I doubt very seriously there will ever be a hash that you cannot crack. Okay? Um, the algorithms and all that it uses goes through every possible combination of letters and numbers and characters that you can think of. So it's a very thorough system. It could take days, weeks, months to crack a particular hash. It's really good. <clears throat> they use a really good password. It could. And uh, the thing is, though, is that... Yeah, I know, I know. Terrible waiting, but it, the thing is, uh, rainbow files will, will crack it, or rainbow tables, excuse me. Now, in Parrot, you can create your own rainbow tables, okay? Um, you do have it available. Uh, let's see if I remember where it's at. Um, probably around here. Um, there we go. Rainbow crack, okay? Now, as you see, it says generate rainbow table and crack dumped hash files. That's what rainbow crack will do. Um, however, if you start creating that rain that rainbow table on your computer, just be aware it's going to take up a lot of space. You can actually purchase rainbow tables with the rainbow crack file on the external hard drive. You just buy the hard drive; it's got all the stuff on it, ready to go, and it's got the backup system, so you can even create a backup. A little bit expensive, but worth every dime if this is something you do regularly. Trust me. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open Aircrack NG, okay, and we're going to tell it that we're working with a particular cat file, and we're going to use my my uh, my buddy's um, cat file here. That um, actually we're going to do it from over here. That's what we're going to do. Um, one moment. What we should have done is we shouldn't have backed out of that directory is what I shouldn't have done, but we can get back in there pretty quick. Um, there we go. So I made a little mistake, but that's okay. Awkward. Yeah, well, we'll fix it. So now that we're in here, we're going to take, um, it's easier because I can do a tab from this. Nobody likes to type out this big old long name. so. And there's a lot of characters in, in a freaking capture file, so it's much easier. All right, so we're going to do air crack ng, and then you're going to tell it grab this capture file, which is one you choose. I did the tab autocomplete, and then you're going to tell it use this word list by putting tac w, okay, and then you give it the path to your word list. So I'm going to go home. HWAC 121 and then word list and then over here I'm going to look at my word list so I don't get the name wrong although I'm just going to use the most obvious one it comes to fault with your Ubuntu Kali and Barrett security systems um, or not Ubuntu but Ubuntu based but anyway we're going to use good old Rock U uh, whoop. only we're going to type in the correct terminal alright so there we go so we said, Aircrack, I want you to take this capture file and run it against this word list file here. Rock you text, and then we hit enter. And then the magic happens. And it's off uh, ciphering. We can't talk today. Goodness gracious. But anyway, it's going to go through an entire list there. And it tells you you have 40, well, it's, well 42 minutes approximately left. Down to 40 now, it shows you how many keys tested and how many out of how many are left. And it's going to try attempt to guess it. And if it does, it will stop on the word that it has found for your password. Okay. And uh, this is a lot of the most common, most basic ones in uh, the Rock U text. Um, I normally I run that file against any hash file first. Because believe it or not, about nine times out of ten, it's in that file. And I don't have to go any anything more sophisticated, which is sad. Okay, um, that's a sad thing, people. 
Yes, it is. So learn from that, okay? I mean, do, do you want to get your system compromised? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. So what you want to do is make a better password, okay? If your password is so easy that you're that 9 out of 10 times people that I can crack it with that rock you text, oh my goodness. Oh, and that text has been around for ages, by the way. Uh -huh. That's right. And that tells you how poor your password is if it can beat it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry. All you got to do is make a more, more uh, difficult password. Um, notice here it even shows you percentage of time left. See? Okay, so... That's it for today. Um, I'm not gonna wait for it to crack that because that could take forever as we just went over. Uh, went over the basics of Flexion, how to use it for handshake capture. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or comments, um, suggestions, anything at all. Go ahead and comment, say hello, give us a shout. Um, give us a shout out. We might do something special for you. Might shout out back at you in the next tutorial. You never know. Um, thank you so much also before we go the new members we have I planned on doing a special tutorial when we actually hit 100 members yeah but well don't don't get too excited because the thing is I, my wife and I just moved recently if you've been keeping up with the discussion on my channel here um, I can't try to keep you posted in there as, as things go on and I wanted to do something very special because we hit our hundredth member and um unfortunately well fortunately too between then and now uh, we are now up to 107 members so i won't be able to do it for that but i'm still going to do a special 100th member tutorial for you so our very next tutorial will be that special hope you like it and thanks for coming and have a great day and happy pen testing